All right, so um, first thing you want to do is set up headphones for your artists, right? You, and that's so you can communicate with them. It's kind of a big deal, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to take this special headphone cable that's a TRS on this end, tip ring sleeve, and a male XLR on this end, and we're going to plug it in. There's a place on this mic panel that says uh, headphones. So we're going to plug them in. There's three of them. We'll use that one. We're going to take the male end of the XLR, we're going to plug it to the female end of our uh, headphone box. And there we go. Right? If you take a look at this box, you'll notice that you're going to want it to be on stereo. I'm going to push it right there. Right? And this knob here is for the left ear, and this knob here is for the right ear. Right? That's the volume knobs, rather. The next thing we're going to do is plug our headphones into the headphone box. There's four inputs, so four musicians. They're all the same. Four musicians can be plugged into this guy. And there we go. Notice that you can daisy chain them. If we take an XLR cable, a mic cable, plug it into here, we can get a second one of these boxes, have it across the room, and the signal from this one will end up in the second one over there. And you can daisy chain three, four, five, six, however many you need. And that's the headphones. Next, we're going to go into the control room. I'll show you how to patch. All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to patch the uh, AUG sends from the board. We need to patch them into the headphone amp. And so you're going to look on the patch bay, and there's a patch that says AUGs 1 and 2 out into Q amp. That's what the word they use, Q amp in. The AUGs 1 goes into the left side of the amp, which feeds the left ear and the headphones. And AUGs 2 goes into the right side of the amp, which feeds the, uh, the right side of the, the headphones. Right, and so what you, we're going to look over here for is AUG send, and that's right there. And we're going to use AUG sends one and two typically in this room here, right? And we're going to patch that into Q amp in. Let me find it. Uh, it is right there. Yeah, just look around for a while, and you'll find it, right? And so I'm going to say AUG send one. Number one goes into the left ear, right? So it goes into the left side of the amplifier, and AUG two goes into the right ear, and that goes into the right side of the amplifier, and that should do the trick. And there we go, we should have headphones. So the next, now we've got our, we've got our patch, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our aux sends for our, uh, for our headphones, right? And so whatever is in the channel is what we're going to send, right? So we're going to make a mix of this, and so let's say we've got something in channel one, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. We're going to use AUG send in this studio. It's AUG send uh, one and two. So we're going to come over here. The first thing we're going to do is turn the AUG send on. The next thing we're going to do is hit the pan button. I'm going to turn that on. And the next thing after that is hit the pre button. That's pre fader. Your, your instructor will tell you why that's important. But headphones need to be pre fader. Right? So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to turn it up. Right, and this is this gray knob is the volume of whatever is in that channel in the artist's headphones. So a good place to start is straight up at noon. This black knob is the pan knob in the headphones. So whatever's in this channel, let's say it's Hilary Duff, uh, her vocals. Uh, if you pan it to the left, Hilary Duff turns, ends up in their left ear in their headphones, and if we turn it to the right, it goes to their right ear. Right. And there you go. That's how you do the AUG sends. Of course, you're going to do this to every channel that has something in it. Right? So now that we've got our AUG sends on our channels set up the way we think they should be, the next thing we need to do is we have to uh, adjust the levels for the master volume of our AUG sends. Right? Each one of these AUG sends on the channels determines the volume of each individual channel. This one is going to determine the overall volume of the AUG sends in the headphones. And generally speaking, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to turn them up all the way. These knobs are the ones that you're looking for. These knobs here are only attenuators, right? So all the way up is the way they need to go. This one's for the left ear. That one's for the right ear. Now that we've got our master volumes uh, turned up for our uh, aux sends for the headphones, I want to show you a couple of other things here. First thing I'm going to show you is the talkback, right? This button here allows you to talk to the musicians that are wearing the headphones. The way this works is you've got to assign that talk back button to go to AUG send one and two, and that's that one right there. 
Okay, so now when I press that button, it actually goes to their headphones. The other thing that you may, you might want to do, uh, maybe you don't, right, is push this button here. It's called Mix to Augs 1 and 2. And what that does, it actually sends your mix that you have in the control room with your faders to their headphones, right? That's really good for if you're overdubbing vocals or overdubbing a saxophone solo or something like that. Maybe not the thing you want to do when you're recording a band live. Um, but this is handy dandy, right? Realize that this is post fader only, right? So any changes that you make with the faders here is going to affect their headphone mix. There you go. All right, so now we've got our headphones set up, the next thing we need to do is get the mic set up. So here we are in the studio, in the, in the uh, live room, and I'm going to take the uh, microphone cable that's plugged into the microphone, we're going to plug it into mic input one on our mic panel. Right. Here we go. There it is. Next, we're going to go to the control room. All right, so now that we've got our uh, microphone set up in the... Um, studio, what we need to do is uh, work in the control room now. So we're at the center section, right? Some people call this the master section. What we need to do is we need to select a pair of speakers. And there's three of them. Uh, the JBLs, the uh, Dynaudio Acoustics, and these Aventones, right? So uh, A is the JBLs, B is the uh, uh, Dynaudios, and C, of course, the Aventones, right? So we've selected the JBLs. And uh, no, you can't listen to all three of them at the same time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select the stereo mix button, right? So this determines what we listen to. We can listen to any number of different things, but we want to listen to the stereo mix. There you go. The next thing we want to do is we want to raise the stereo fader. We selected it there, right? So we're going to listen to the stereo fader. We're going to raise the stereo fader all the way up to the top. That's generally where it's going to stay. The next thing we want to do is take the gigantic red knob and turn it up to about noon is a good spot to start all right and that's the center section all right now that we've got our center section set up what we need to do is uh, come over here and set up our uh, penthouse right the penthouse has um, the mic preamp and an EQ built in all right the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we're in the mic position because we've plugged a microphone into the input all right and so I just make sure that's in the up position. That's that button, right? And then if we need phantom power for a condenser mic or an active ribbon or maybe an active DI, we've got to turn the phantom power on. In this case, we're using condenser. We've got it turned on. So now that we've got that set up, what we're going to do is we're going to turn up the gain knob. And you're going to see some green lights right here, right? And we want an average around 0-ish zero, zero VU-ish. So I'm going to come over here and turn this guy up. And I see some signal right there, right? And it's at a very low volume level. But that looks pretty good right there, right? So a little bit in the yellow, maybe a little bit too hot. We'll have to look in Pro Tools and see. But that, there you go. I'm going to put it down a little bit. So that's how you set up the penthouse. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to patch. All right, we've got our pa uh, penthouse set up. Next thing to do is to make our patch. Right? And what we're going to do is we're going to patch the output of the penthouse directly into Pro Tools. So our microphone's patched into mic panel number one, which shows up in penthouse number one. So we might as well go ahead and send penthouse number one to track one in Pro Tools. So here we go. The patch is EQ out. It should, be, it should say penthouse out, but it says EQ out. So EQ out, and I'm going to patch that into Pro Tools in. That's right there, Pro Tools in number one. And that's how you do the patch. So now that we've got our penthouse patched into Pro Tools, right? That was EQ out to Pro Tools in, right? You'll notice on our Pro Tools uh, screen, we actually see signal there, right? It's just about right. Now, if it's too loud, you go to the gain knob and you turn it down. If it's not loud enough, you turn it up. That looks pretty good right there. Realize that the little gray knob above the, gray, the gain knob allows you to fine tune the gain, right? So you may have to uh, adjust that one. But this looks pretty good. So now uh, we're ready to record. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set up monitoring 
so we can actually listen to our recording. All right, so we've got signal going to the Pro Tools, right? And so the next thing we need to do is set up our monitoring path, right? And this is going to be uh, in, the, in this channel right here, right? So we've plugged our microphone into uh, mic panel one, which goes to penthouse one. From penthouse one, we've patched it into track one into Pro Tools. Pro Tools is going to send the signal so we can listen to it over here to channel one, right? Uh, the, that, that signal is normaled. So Pro Tools is normaled to send a signal. If you don't know what that means, ask your uh, instructor. Uh, Pro Tools uh, uh, is normaled. The output of Pro Tools is normaled to the channel. Right? So there's no patch needed. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to push the tape button down. Right? That sets the input of this channel to listen to the output of Pro Tools. The board thinks that Pro Tools is a tape machine. That's why it's labeled tape. Right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to push down the stereo button. It was already pressed down. Well, there it is. All right. And we're going to come on down here to the uh, pan section. We're going to hit the pan in button. All right. And then we're going to take our group pan and we're going to pan this wherever we want to. All right. I say we're going to leave it up here in the, straight up to noon. The next thing we're going to do is going to raise this fader. And as we turn up the fader, we should be able to hear. We've got our master section set up. Everything's ready to go. We should hear some music. Sure enough, you probably want to start with the fader at minus five. So it gives you a little bit of room to, when you add all these rest of these faders, right? At this point, we're ready to go, right? So all you've got to do now is uh, just repeat the process for all the other channels that you've got, you've got uh, an instrument on, a mic on. That's it. Have fun.